It's been a week and Apple has released another beta of iOS 15. Hello everyone, I'm Nikhil from iGeeks blog and in this video, let's talk about the latest iOS 15 beta 8. First, let's take a look at the build number of this new iOS beta and it is 19A5340A. As predicted, with the last beta release, Apple is close to the first public release of iOS 15. According to, like according to me, this is the last beta version of iOS 15 and then with the launch of iPhone 13 in the second week of September, Apple will release the first public version of iOS 15. In the iOS 15 beta 8 release note, Apple has not mentioned any bug fixes, but the list is updated with the known bug issues. And this time, we need to dig in more to find bug fixes. And the first on the list is, I notice a bug fix in Safari. In beta 7, I notice if we switch between tabs, the page gets refreshed and reloads every time I switch to the tabs. That's a kind of a bug that consumes more data every time it reloads the page. And with this beta 8 release, this bug is fixed. As I said, Apple has not mentioned anything about the bug fixes and we were expecting bug fixes with the banking apps. I have checked that and they are still not working. I cannot register my face ID with the banking app and cannot use it to make any transactions. Many users also reported that in beta 6 and 7, there was an issue with storage. Other storage is acquiring more space on iPhone and bifurcation of that storage is missing. This happens especially on older models of iPhones like 6s, 7 and 10R. With this iOS 15 beta 8 release, this issue is addressed and we can get clarity about the individual storage, including how much storage iOS is acquiring on our iPhone. Apart from this, there are no major bug fixes I have noticed in this iOS 15 beta 8. However, I can sense the performance is better compared to the previous beta versions. The response for my every action is rapid and no lag while using any application or iPhone itself. In my previous video about iOS 15 beta 7, I talk about the improvement in battery life. This is again great and I notice better battery backup and hoping to improve it again with this beta 8 release. Now the question is, should you install the iOS 15 beta on your iPhone? So in this case, if you have already installed any beta version of iOS 15 on your iPhone, then I must say update to the latest beta 8 release. And if you are still using the iOS 14 stable release, then no need to update. Just wait for a few more days and Apple will release the first public release soon. Hopefully on 14 September 2021 along with iPhone 13. So wait for a few more days. And it's time to ask for your help. I hope you could help me and support me by subscribing to this channel and sharing this video with your family and friends. Just do that. And yes, also let me share one more thing which is exclusive and that is our iGeeks blog app. Just download it from the link in the description and enjoy exclusive news content only available on the app iGeeks blog. And that at no cost. Don't wait and stay updated about everything Apple. Now allow me to say goodbye. I'm Nikhil signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay connected.